In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart for monthly project. As you can see here, you can add the, the title here, the Gantt chart, and then you can add the project name. And then I'm going to add the task on the extreme left. And then I'm going to add the timeline for four weeks, starting from week one to week four. And you can see here, I've put the task names here, project definitions, defined business goals and purposes, budget definition, resource mapping, milestones, etc. And then you can add the timeline as you can see here, I've put from January 1 to 7 until January 23rd to 25th. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide size to A4 size. For that, go to design, slide size, click on the custom slide size. From the drop down, select the A4 size and the orientation slide, select the portrait and click OK. It will show you two options, ensure, it, ensure fit and maximum. So just select any of these options, then it will change the slide size to A4 size. Then I'm going to change the background of this one. For that right mouse click, go to the format background. And from the colors, I'm going to choose a dark color combination here or just dark purple. You can see here. And then go to the insert. I'm going to add one text box where I'm going to say a monthly project. Or you can just put any text as you want. And then I'm going to change the color to kind of a gold color. And I'm going to use Open Sans Extra Bold. All right. And maybe you can just increase the size a little bit and put it exactly in the center. Or you can just go to the shape format align and make sure it is in center. Then I'm going to insert one more text where I'll just say monthly GAN chart. And for this, I'm going to choose a font which is white, center align, reduce the size and here i'm going to use open sans semi bold or any font of your choice again align center and i'll just make it somewhat up all right then let me just add the project name itself so go to the insert shapes i'm going to select the rounded corner circle or sorry the rectangle and then just drag it all right and put it again in the center shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color here and then go to the insert text box and i'm going to say i'll just say for example sales project for example i'm just giving for example and i'm going to put it again in the center you can use a dark color and again open sans semi bold and put it here again okay so this is the name of the the project which you're going to add a Gantt chart then i'm going to add a four weeks and the tasks here again go to insert shapes select the rounded corner and here i'm going to select one and shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this a uh, light green color and i can insert the name go to insert text box and i'm just saying task center align make the font as white and put it here all right so once this is done i'm going to add four more uh, rectangles for the weeks so go to insert shapes again select this rectangle so maybe this is week one hold the control shift key this is two this is three and this is four so sometimes it will go out so what you need to do is you have to just make sure that this one should always be in and then i'm going to select this one go to the shape format align distribute horizontally you can see here there's equal spacing given between this so then go to the insert text box i'm going to say week zero one or week one white font center align reduce the width and i'm going to put it here week one let me just zoom in all right then hold the control shift key just drag it here hold the control shift key drag the other one 
and then I'm going to drag it here all right so let me just do it once again yeah so this is week one this is week two week three and week four all right and the colors again I don't want these colors I want some different color combination again I can go to the shape fill I can give this color here so once this is done I'm going to add the details okay so for that go to insert table I'm going to add one two three four five columns and depending on the requirement you can insert number of rows all right so now let me just put it here all right and again if you want you can add two more and then just drag this down all right so let me just select the whole calendar sorry not the calendar the table then go to the table design i'm going to remove the header row here you can see here and i'm from this particular design i'm going to just choose any design which i like so you can see here maybe i'll go with this all right and then i will say borders no border so i end up getting a shape which looks like this so when i click you can see here so now for this one i can move a little bit here so and then this one a little bit you can just align it all right you can see here now i'm going to type my the tasks here okay so I'm, let me just select only this first column go to the layout I'm going to make it in the center vertically go to the home I'm going to choose the font white and I can just reduce to 12 maybe and then I'm going to write it here task 1 you can see here task 2 task 3 like that you can just write as much as task you want 4 task 5 task 6 task 7 task 8 and task 9 okay so again depending on the requirement if you want you can just uh, increase the tasks so let me just zoom in and then i'll just say this is task okay so once this is done i'm going to insert the timelines here to go insert timeline go to the insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle again draw it and you can see the small orange point drag this this uh, inside and then reduce the size and shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same gold color and i'm going to put it here so let me just zoom in i can reduce the width all right and here i'm going to insert the text which is i'll just say this is from january 1 to 5 all right again white font center align let me just reduce the size you can see here to 11 so this task one starts from january 1 to 5 so i'm going to select this one Control d to duplicate and i'm going to just drag this down you can see here and then depending on my requirement i'll just change the dates okay you can see here like this i can just make it and then this is the last one all right now i've just put uh, some dummy data here now i want i can just reduce this one maybe instead of five days it should complete in three days only so i'll just reduce the width and i'll just say from january 5 to january 3rd so here the same thing goes here again if you want if you want to increase here you can increase a little bit more and this one may be from january 1 to january 6th like this you can just change it again this is only for one day i can just reduce it more you can see here and i'll just say this is from january 7th to 8 like that you can just change the remaining timelines for different tasks